What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jefton Jones. And look, something crossed my mind recently that you all may or may not agree with. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. There is a spiritual darkness that cats have. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. From house cats to alley cats to thunder cats, however you call them, to large cats like tigers and lions, there is a spiritual spiritually wicked nature to those animals and I don't find this in scripture I just know this from having the spirit myself that there is a certain level of wickedness that comes from cats now you cat owners before you pounce on me let, let's state the facts let's state the facts cats do not like to be loved and cuddled on Please correct me if I am wrong, but every cat that I have encountered has never let me pet them. Um, in fact, they've always snarled and, you know, pretty much like intimidated me um, and never let me get into their world, right? It's so secretive, so, so dark and, you know, wanting to be by themselves all the time. And so that's the first thing that came to mind is they, they don't like to be loved. Secondly, as I got to thinking about it, cats have a very aggressive spirit towards them. They, it's almost like that, that, that dark person in the world that we know who just always mad, always cranky, always doing mischievous stuff. If you've ever looked at cats and noticed them, they are the most mischievous animals on this planet. I don't know what's inside of them. I think I do. I think it's demons, but... There's a mischievousness on the inside of them. You turn your head for a quick second and all of a sudden they're eating your birthday cake. Turn your head for a quick second and all of a sudden they're licking on your gingerbread cake. Turn your head for a quick second and there they are tearing up your couch. Like, and you cat owners, help me understand why you all continue to own cats when you know that they're going to destroy your property. Please help me understand these things because it's very confusing to me, right? So. They're mischievous. They've got an aggressive, like, nasty spirit to them. Um, and then another thing that comes to mind is for the large cat lovers that are out there. One thing I've learned from watching a bunch of YouTube videos and National Geographic videos, um, just, you know, going to the zoos, things of that nature, just my experience from cats is they will prey on anyone in anything and not only will they p-r-e-y on you but they wait until you turn your back and then they pounce on you right it's not like they you know they they got some you know uh, uh some art with they the other lion friends and the other tiger friends and they say hey man what's going on why why you been you know acting such and such and such way lately why don't we talk about this and do such and such and such or how about we just fight it out no it's no talking with them they hide out in the darkness and they wait until you turn your back and then as soon as you're most vulnerable and not knowing what's going on they pounce on you now just imagine just just imagine for one quick second these animals are dark creatures <laughs> 